What makes a product really good? I tested the new Cactoily Smart 7-in-1 Aquarium Wi-Fi monitor, but in a low-tech aquarium, based on the Wolstad method, where I don't do water changes and where I haven't tested the water in a very long time. After testing the water with this device, I decided to monitor the water quality in the aquarium for a while. I'll tell you later what happened. This device tests several water parameters and can be used in both fresh and salt water. Let's see what we found in the box. I have to say that I was impressed with Cactoily at first sight. And not just now. I have tested two models of water testers from them and I know since then that their products are easy to use and are at a lower price compared to other products that offer exactly the same functions and are excessively expensive. This is the new display where the seven water parameters it measures are displayed. In the hand, it feels like a premium product. We will see it better later when we test it. Important to say is that there is no wire between it and the sensor probe that is placed in the aquarium. In the box, I also found a display mounting system that allows it to be placed on the aquarium glass, on a wall, on the cabinet where the aquarium is located, or wherever you want. But also another system that allows even more. The display's power cable is long, which is a good thing. This is the sensor probe. This is placed in the aquarium water. It can measure seven water values, and it can be used in both fresh and salt water. So I think it is quite durable if it can withstand salt water. Out of curiosity, I looked a little at what the sensors look like. I don't understand what these sensors are, but you should know that the sensor probe comes with this protective cap. And before being placed in the aquarium, it must be replaced with another cap that you find in the box. It is remarkable how much technology is in this device. In the box, I also found all kinds of mounting systems. Two charged plugs and several types of calibration powder. We will move on to testing this product, but first, who is Cactoily? Cactoily is a company specialized in water testing and more. They have specialized equipment to test aquarium water, swimming pool water, even tap water. But they also have technology that can test soil values. So it's not a company that sells all kinds of products. It's a company that specializes in water tests. This is the sensor sample. For the sensor probe, there are several mounting options. First, I removed the protective cover and installed the perforated cover. Then I placed the probe with sensors in the aquarium. And I connected the screen to power. Immediately, the display started showing the water parameters. I think the device needs a few more minutes for the water values to stabilize. In the meantime, I noticed that the device indicates the water temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Because I am used to degrees Celsius, I managed to use the three buttons on the display to switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius. I found the menu intuitive and easy to use. If you hold down the button that shows an arrow on the display for three seconds, the display orientation changes. I didn't expect this. I find this function very interesting. And if you press this button for three seconds, 
the screen will turn off. But this will not affect the analysis of water parameters. The most important parameter of aquarium water that needs to be measured, in my opinion, is the pH. And this device measures the pH. To check if the pH of the water indicated by this device is correct, I compared it with a test I made. The accuracy is very good. The manufacturer says it is 0.05 and seeing that I believe it. The next thing this device measures is oxidation reduction potential. It is determined by the oxidation and reduction processes taking place in the water. It is ideal to keep the ORP value of the fish tank between 200 and 400 to ensure equilibrium between oxidation and reduction reactions. Additionally, it promotes the healthy growth of fish by controlling oxides and organic substances in the water. Electrical conductivity, or EC, in a fish tank measures the water's ability to conduct an electrical current, which is directly related to the concentration of dissolved ions and solids like calcium, magnesium, and other minerals. Total dissolved solids, TDS, refers to the concentration of all dissolved inorganic and organic substances in aquarium water, including minerals, salts, metals, and organic matter, typically measured in parts per million. For many freshwater aquariums, a TDS range of 150, 500 ppm, is generally recommended to support healthy fish and aquatic plant growth. The salinity of a saltwater fish tank should be maintained within a specific range to ensure the health of marine inhabitants. For a reef aquarium, the ideal salinity is typically between 32 and 35 parts per thousand. Specific gravity, SG, is a common measurement used to determine the salt concentration in a fish tank, particularly in marine and reef aquariums. Cactoily 7-in-1 Aquarium Monitor come in two versions, standard and long range. Both versions have the same features. The only difference is the connection distance between the probe and the display. In the standard version, the maximum connection distance between the probe and the display is 5 meters, and in the long range, the distance is 300 meters. But if you use the Cactoily app, which you can install on both Android and iOS devices, you can access all the information from anywhere in the world. The app is complex, and what I liked is that it also offers notifications when water parameters are not good. You receive a notification on your phone, and something is wrong with the water quality in the aquarium. In conclusion, Cactoily 7 in one Wi-Fi monitor does its job very well, and its price is very good. If you are looking for such a device to monitor the quality of your aquarium water, you can confidently rely on this device. On the official website, you have a discount using this code. Details in the video description.